What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today we're going to go through my raid loot results for the past week. That's Crota's end raid gear and my Volta Glass gear. Volta Glass being the featured raid this week. But before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. And as always guys, to be with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway, just simply leave a comment down below. Okay, so last Monday night before the weekly reset, I remember thinking as soon as the Volta Glass hits, I want to grow around this motherfucker and get the Vision of Confluence, the Adept Exotic version. Now, back in year one, this was my favourite weapon ever. I, I much preferred it over the Fate Bringer, the Athens Epilogue, the Predator's Timepiece, a weapon I actually never had, uh, so I can't really judge it, but I still loved, and I doubt the Predator's Timepiece would have been anywhere near as good as the Vision of Confluence was for me. It was just an absolute monster in PvE, and it works in PvP too, and it was the one weapon going into this week that I really, really wanted. So let's see if I got it. Starting on my Warlock, I got the Fragment of Prime class item, I got the Hens and Vengeance Rocket Launcher, I got the Predator's Timepiece, Exotic Adept version, I got the Predator's Timepiece standard version, I got the Aphelion's Epilogue standard version, I got the Fate Bringer standard version, and I also got the Vex Mythoclast Exotic. Absolutely fucking loving it. Uh, moving on to my Titan, and I got the two times Continuum Pin, I got the Light of the Great Prism, I got the Labor's Forceful Greaves, I got the Corrective Measure, I got the Exotic Predator's Timepiece, I got the Legendary Predator's Timepiece, and I also got the Exotic Aphelion's Epilogue. Moving on to my Hunter, and I got the Predator's Timepiece Legendary version. I got the Exotic Fate Bringer. I got the Prime Zeal like Helm. I got the Prime Zeal like Caress. I got the Prime Zeal like Greaves. I got the Shattered Cloak. I got two artifacts. I got the Collapse of Space Emblem, and I got the Glass of Time Emblem. And I also got the Exotic Vision of fucking confluence the one weapon going into this week i really really wanted and i got it absolutely loving it i really am now i'm going to show you guys these weapons if you haven't seen them already which you probably have but we're still going to go through them anyway so let's go let's go you can see my sexy hunter in the gear i got this week the helmet with the ornament on the chest piece with the ornament on and the legs with the ornament on as well as the cloak with the ornament on looking incredible okay so the weapons we've got there that's my baby that is my baby, the vision of confluence, adept. Oh, it just looks so incredible. It really does. And as you can see, we've got the Fate Bringer, a fan favorite of many, many people. Actually, I think I got this first. I got this before I got the vision of confluence. So I actually leveled it up and used it. I mean, I like the weapon, I'll get it twisted, but I'd take my vision any day over it. I really would. As you can see, I got the Predator's Timepiece, yet to use this. Um, a weapon I actually never got in year one. And it's actually quite decent. Head Seeker, we've got Perfect Balance and Secret Round. Can't wait to take that into PvP, I really can't. Love the sight as well. Best sight in the game, in my opinion. Then we have the Aphian's Epilogue. When the Void Nightfalls come back around, you guys will pull it out of your vaults and use it, and you will love it, I can guarantee it. And there we've got the Vex Mythal Class, the Vault Glass Exclusive Exotic, which I remember using uh, probably about three months before... The Age of Triumph came out and this weapon is just ruined. Bungie broke this weapon. It's a, it's just a shadow of its former self, it really is. And it's such a shame because this weapon used to be so good and now it's just so bad. It's not even par. It's not even mid par. It's literally, it was really good and now it's just really, really, really below standard. And it's not even like a mid-range weapon. It really ain't. It's just a shame it really is because it could be... A beast. Uh, it looks incredible with this chrono shot uh, ornament on it as well. I mean, look at that. I'm yet to get that ornament, by the way. Uh, I wish I did have it, but I'm yet to get it. But yes, guys, that is it for my raid. Actually, I'm going to run you guys quickly through my Crota's end raid gear as well. Okay, so we're going to go on to my Titan, and i got the Mark of the Pit, the Hunger of Crota, the World Breaker's Resolve Chest, and the World Breaker's Watch. On my Hunter, i got the Dogged Gauge Gauntlets, i got the Relentless Harness, i got the Shroud of Flies Cloak, and i got the Unyielding Cask Helmet. On the Warlock, i got the Death Singer's Grip, the Death Singer's Herald, the Ascendant Ghost Shell, which looks incredible, and i got the Abyss Defiant Auto Rifle. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do smash that like button, I do a parade appreciate the support let me know down below in that comment section what you got from the raid this week did you get every exotic weapon like i did let me know subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos press that bell button next to the subscribe button to receive email notifications of when i upload if you wanna and as always guys i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand